Are you a small business owner that has absolutely zero experience in making a website? Well, if that is you and you want to learn how to quickly and easily make your own website for your small business, then you've come to the right place. Hey guys, Stuart here. Thanks for joining me. In today's tutorial, I'm going to guide you through how to make a website for your small business. The website we will make today will look something like this. It will be a fully functional website that is completely free to make and launch online. We will also make it within 10 minutes to show you how easy it is to make your website yourself. I will also share with you the pricing options if you decide to upgrade in the future. Today we'll be making your small business website with the powerful and free website builder called Wix. Now just quickly before we dive in and if you get value out of this video please leave a like and a comment down below and if you're new here consider subscribing to stay updated with actionable videos just like this one. And with that said let's make a website using Wix for your small business. And one last thing, if I'm speaking too fast, feel free to click on the gear icon below the video and reduce the speed of this tutorial. I hope this helps. All right, now with that said, let's jump into it and let's start creating your website. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to wix.com or click the link in our description and that's gonna take you to the Wix website. Now to start building your free website using Wix, all we need to do is head down and click get started. Now, if you don't already have an account, all we need to do is click sign up. Now, here we need to add our email address and create a password. Now, if you already have a Facebook account or a Google account, you can also sign up with Facebook or Google. So we're gonna sign up with Google because we like to keep everything in one place with our Google account. Then, if you decide to sign up with Google, just select the account you wanna sign up with. Now, once you've created your account, you've signed up with Facebook or Google, then you're gonna see this interface here. Now, this is where we get started with building your website. Now, Wix is amazing because what they have is a ADI, which is Artificial Design Intelligence. So basically, what they're gonna do is ask you a bunch of questions so they better understand the type of website, the type of business that you wanna create. Let's do it. I want to create a site for now you have the option to choose myself, this is a website for me or my business, a client, a company I work for, or someone else. Now because we want to create a website for our business, we're going to click myself. I want to create a site for myself, it should be a business, an online store, music, designer, choose the best option that represents your business and the website that you want to create. For now, I'm going to click a business. So with this tutorial, the example we're going to use today is a consulting website. Now, because we're just new, you know, this is for uh, individuals, business owners that have never built a website before. They've got zero experience. So we want to click never done this before. Then Wix is going to take us to two options. We can either start using the ADI, which is Artificial Design Intelligence I mentioned before, or we can come over here and choose a template and start editing the website the way that we like. Now today we're going to choose ADI because that means we can put in all our information and Wix will create the website for us. It will professionally create a stunning website for our business. And then we can edit information, we can edit the photos, the details, the text, the style, the theme, everything else later down the track. But first of all, we'll create a template and we'll create our website with the artificial design intelligence. So with that said, let's head over and click start now. What type of site do you want to create? Now, if you pop over here, you can type in your business type or your website type, and it's gonna come up with suggestions. Now for us, we're gonna create a consulting firm. So we're gonna click consulting firm. Now what it's gonna do is give us some recommendations of features that we want on our website. So these are some of the features we can choose to have or not have on our website. So we've got bookings, take online bookings and appointments. That means our website can essentially take our visitors information and create a booking for them. We can create a live chat on our website so our customers can contact us live through our website. We can also add a blog, online store if we're selling physical products, or we can come down here and look at more features. We can add videos, events, Instagram feed, subscription forms, and there's many more. So for us, we're gonna select 
bookings, a live chat. We also want to blog because this is great to update our website with, you know, new blog posts, new information, news. It also helps with ranking on search engines like Google. And then we're going to pop down here and is there anything else we want? A subscription form? Yep, because we want to build our email list. And I'm happy with that at the moment. Now, if you're a restaurant, you could have a menu. You could also add reservations or orders. So there's many different features you can choose from. Now we can add these later on. So there's no rush. You can think about what other features you want on your website and we can add them later on. So when you're happy with that, pop down here and click next. What is the name of your business or website? So for us, our business is going to be called Stuart Consultancy. And I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to pop down here and click next. Do you want to import your images and text? Now the cool thing about this is if you already have an online presence or you already have a website, you can add that here or you can find your place on Google. So for example, I could type in my current business, Cindio, and I can add that business there. Or I can add my existing website here and that's going to generate the images, take the images, the text, the content from my website, my old website, and put that on my new website. So if you already have something, if you already have online presence, you already have a website, then you can add that here. If not, you can click skip. Now we want to add some additional information. So I'm going to add a logo up here. So I'm going to click add. Head over to Stuart Consulting and click the Stuart Consulting logo. And there we have it. They'll take a moment to load and upload. Now, if you don't have any business materials, you don't have a logo, what you can actually do is click the link up above where I take you through a basic rundown on how you can create a logo yourself. Extremely easy and within five minutes using canva.com. So if you want to do that, click the link up above and that will take you to that logo design tutorial. Now, add the rest of your information down here. You can also add your social links. So for example, if you have a Facebook business page, if you have an Instagram page, you can add your URL down here. So for example, I'm going to add my LinkedIn and Facebook page and I'm happy with that. I'm going to add this information later on, but I recommend you add your address, your phone number over here. So you don't have to add that later on down the track. And once you've done that, come down here and click next. Now we have a choice of themes to choose from. So the style of our website, the way it's going to look, the color, the feel. So for us, we're going to select sky high and you can make changes later on. So click continue and you can also create a color palette from your logo. So Wix builds the website based off the colors from my logo because you want your logo and your website to resonate with one another. So I'm going to come down here and click create palette. And as you can see, it's starting to generate the colors from that logo. We've got light blue, we've got clear white, and then we've got a darker blue here. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to click use these colors. Now, based on all the information we've just provided, Wix has nearly created our website. So this is three examples of the way that your homepage will look. Now we have three examples to choose from. Now this is based off the colors, based off the information that we added in just before. So that one looks quite professional and smooth. I like what they've done with the logo up here. I'm going to come over here. This one looks very professional as well. Uh, this one's actually a little bit more sharp. I, I think I prefer this one. And then we have this one on the right. Now I do like this one too, although it's a bit too blue for my liking. So I'm going to select this middle one, which looks a lot more kind of minimalistic and professional for a consultancy. Just come up here and click use this design. Now remember, you can edit all these elements on your website page, on your home page, and other pages later on down the track, which I'll show you how to do shortly. So I'm going to select use this design. And now you just need to give it a moment while Wix puts together your website. And congratulations, you've just created your website. Well, Wix has created your website for you, but you know, you helped Wix create your website. Now what we can do is we can navigate down here and check out our homepage. So this is the homepage we selected and we can edit all this information. So as you can see, if we highlight here, each part of the home page or any page of your website is made up of these sections where you can easily edit and change the design of each of these sections. Just click on design to change the way that the design looks. So I click on this one, this one down here, here, 
or down here. So you can have a look at all the layouts and you can select the one that best relates to your business. So I'm happy with that. Again, you can exit out of that. So that's changing the design. Now you can also just click on the section and as you can see, all the different elements on this section will appear for you to edit. So it's very simple, very straightforward. Um, with the design, you just need to click on each of these elements and you can start editing on the left hand side. You can also change the way that it looks, the style, the feel of your sections. Now we're going to navigate up to the top and we're going to go through all these different elements up here so you understand how you can make the most out of your website just before we go live. In order to make your website go live online so people can find your website, all we need to do is click publish. But before that, we'll quickly go through each of these elements. So first of all, we have your other website pages here. Now, if I click on each of these pages, it's gonna pop up on the right hand side and you can click on each of these sections on each of these pages and start editing. Then if we head up here, we can click on add and then we can add a section to the page. So if I click section to add, I can come over here and I can add services, sections, I can add a contact section, about, team, projects, clients, the list goes on. So for example, I'm gonna come down and click team. Then I can select one of the different styles for this section. I like this here. So this just shows my team. I can click on this section and Wix will automatically place that section within my website. Now I can choose to drag it or I can select move down to move the section below the section that was originally below it. So again, if I want to move it below this section, all I need to do is click down. And then again, we can just click to edit. So we can edit the text here. We can click and edit the photo. We can come across on the left hand side and we can edit the media. So again, we can add an image at the back here or we can remove it. So everything you wanna do is on the left hand side. All you need to do is click on the section that you wanna edit and then you can start editing on the left hand side. So it's as simple as that. Now, if we head back up to add, we can also add additional pages. So if I click on that, we can add a services page, projects, clients, a uh, contact page, or we can start off fresh and create a blank page. Now we also have other templates down here to build off. So I'm gonna head up to the top and again, we can click on design. Here we can change the theme. Remember we chose a theme earlier. We can always change that theme. Then we can change the colors, the font, the animation, and, and the page designs. Then we can come across to manage apps. This is the features. So remember we've got a blog page and we've got a bookings section. Now if you wanna add any other features, just click all apps. And then you can add other features here. So we've already got the chat, the blog, and the bookings page. Then we can come across here and we can see what our website looks like on mobile and desktop. Currently it's on desktop, so if we select mobile. So Wix is great because it makes your website desktop and mobile friendly. It allows your website to appear very responsive on multiple devices. Again, you can start editing your website through the mobile view just to make sure it looks nice. But I like the look of that, it looks smooth, it fits, the images fit, everything is okay. Then you can see how the menu looks by clicking open menu. That's very responsive, I've got my social media icons down here, LinkedIn, Facebook, I can add more later on. And then I can exit out of that one and head back to the desktop view. Then we can navigate over to help and this is if you have any help you can get some support from the team at WIC. Then we can navigate over to site. This is where you can head to your dashboard where you have a lot of other information. So again you can come over here if there's any notifications they will appear there. If you want to upgrade so get a free domain name to connect to your site rather than a branded Wix domain. If we click on compare plans we can quickly look at plans before we go live. If you want to remove Wix ads and get a branded domain name, so a professional business domain name, then we can select this and that's $12.50 per month or $8.50 per month. 
I would personally use the free Wix plan um, to get you started. So begin with the free plan, then you can upgrade to the combo plan, and then after that you can upgrade to the unlimited plan. So we've compared the plans, and remember you can upgrade at any time. You can come over here and you can select preview. As you can see, this is our website. So this is the way that our website will look when it's online. Now people can navigate, so for example, if I was a visitor on my own website, I could come down here and click let's chat and I can start chatting straight away with the admin of the website. So customers can start chatting directly with you. Then we can come back up here. Um, you also notice that Wix ads up the top. You're going to have that on your live website. So to remove that, all you need to do is upgrade to the two plans we discussed before. Again, we can navigate over to all our websites. We can check out our social media. But I like the look of that and I'm ready to go live. So remember you want to navigate through all your different pages. If it looks the way that you want it to look and you're ready to go live, then make sure that it is first responsive on mobile. And I'm happy with the way that everything looks. So I'm going to click publish. And congratulations, your website is now live. Now you can come down here and you can actually view your site or you can connect your proper domain here. You just have to upgrade to a paid plan with Wix. So to view your website all you need to do is click view site and there you have it your website is up online and people can now find your business, your customers, your audience can now find your website online. Congratulations. Now just quickly before we finish up this is your back end. So we've just been working on the front end of your Wix website. So this is the back end where you can basically get in touch with Wix, you can change your settings, connect a proper domain, you can upgrade to another plan and you can check out your mailbox so you can upgrade uh, to a proper mailbox. Now remember if someone contacts you through your site you're going to get a notification to the email that you signed up to Wix with. Now if we come down here this is the important bit, let's set up your site. So your site is already live but here are some important details that you want to go through. Create your first service, you can do that here. Set your work hours, check your email address, um, write your first post. So if you want to write a blog post, remember we've got a blog post on our website, you can do that here. Um, you can accept online payments if you like, connect a real domain and get found on Google. So go through all these, it's very straightforward, but essentially your website is up online now and these are just the finer details that you can go through when you have the time. But congratulations, your website is now up online. And there we have it guys, you should now have your small business website up online. Congratulations. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And with that said, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you got value from it, please leave a like and a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in next week's video. Take care.